Hi everyone, it's lovely to see you all. I hope you've had fun in the snow. It's been lovely, hasn't it, out there over the last few days. It's getting a bit crunchy now, um, but it's been really nice and fluffy. Made some great snowmen on Sunday and I love seeing all of your pictures on the Compass Primary Facebook page. Um, but here we are, today's story time video. The Twits are here again. We're nearly at the end of this story. Can you remember where we left off last time without having to go back and replay last time's video? Yes, Mugglewump and all the birds were getting revenge on Mr. and Mrs. Twit, weren't they? Mugglewump had a plan. He coated the roof or the ceiling of Mr. and Mrs. Twit's house in hug tight sticky glue. And we'd left the birds and the monkeys as they were ripping up the carpet and sticking it on the ceiling. You have a look at Mugglewump there in the middle. He's going crazy with all of his great ideas, isn't he? Now the birds thought he'd been on his head too long and he'd gone a bit cuckoo. But I think, I think I've figured out what Mugglewump's plan is. Have you figured it out? Well, let's see if you're right, let's find out. So this chapter is called The Furniture goes up. Now the table, that big table, shouted Mugglewump. Turn the table upside down and put glue on each leg. Then we'll stick it to the ceiling as well. Hoisting the big table upside down onto the ceiling was not an easy job, but they did manage to do it in the end. There's Mugglewump there painting the legs. Will it stay up there? They cried. Is the glue strong enough to hold it up? It's the strongest glue in the world, Mugglewump replied. It's the special bird catching, bird killing glue that he puts on trees. Oh, please, said the roly poly bird. I've asked you many times not to mention that subject. How would you like it if it was monkey pie that they made every Wednesday and all your friends had been boiled up? And I went on talking about it. I do beg your pardon, said Mugglewump. I'm so excited. I hardly know what I'm saying. Now the chairs. Do the same thing with the chairs. All the chairs must be stuck upside down to the ceiling. And in their right places. Oh, do hurry up, everyone. Any moment now, those two filthy freaks are going to come rushing back with their guns. The monkeys with the birds helping them put glue on the bottom of each chair leg and hoisted them up onto the ceiling. Now the smaller table, shouted Mugglewump, and that big sofa, and the sideboard, and the lamps, and all the little things, the ashtrays, the ornaments, and that beast, beastly plastic gnome on the sideboard. Everything, everything has to be stuck to the ceiling. My goodness, these birds are going to be tired, aren't they, after all this work? It was terribly hard work. It was especially difficult to stick everything on the ceiling in exactly the right places, but they got it done in the end. What now? said the roly-poly bird. He was out of breath and was, could hardly flap his wings. Now the pictures, cried Mugglewump. Turn all the pictures upside down and will one of the birds please fly out to the road and watch to see when those frumptious freaks are coming back. I'll go said Roly Poly Bird. I'll sit on the telephone wires and step, keep guard. It'll give me a rest as well. They had only just finished the job when the Roly Poly Bird came swooping back in, screaming, Ah! They're coming back! They're coming back! Ah! Quickly, the birds flew onto the roof of the house. The monkeys rushed into their cage and stood upside down, one on top of the other. A moment later, Mr. and Mrs. Twit came marching into the garden, each carrying a fearsome-looking gun. Look at those two. Horrible. I'm glad to see those monkeys are still upside down, said Mr. Twit. Well, they're too stupid to do anything else, aren't they? said Mrs. Twit. Look at those cheeky birds still on top of our roof. Let's go inside, load our lovely guns, and then it'll be bang, 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 bird pie for supper. Just as Mr. and Mrs. Twit were about to enter the house, 
Two black ravens swooped low over their heads. Each bird carried a paintbrush in its claw and it was smeared with glue. As the ravens whizzed over the top, they brushed a bit of glue on the top of Mr and Mrs Twit's heads. They did it with the lightest touch, but even so, the Twit both felt it. What was that? cried Mrs Twit. Some beastly bird has pooped on my head. It's on mine as well, said Mr Twit. I can feel it, I can feel it. Well, don't touch it, cried Mrs Twit. You get it all over your hands. Come inside and we'll wash it off at the sink. Those filthy, dirty birds, yelled Mr Twit. I bet they did that on purpose. Just you wait till I've loaded up my gun. Mrs Twit got the key from under the doormat, where Mugglewump had carefully put it back, and into the house they went. Look at those two ravens. The paintbrush splattered on their heads. They thought it was bird poo. Can you imagine what's going to happen now when Mr and Mrs Twit go into their house? What are they going to see? What are they going to think? And why did those two birds put glue on their heads? It's all very strange, isn't it? Maybe you can piece it together and work out what's going to happen to the Twits. We'll see tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Let's get into the really good bit now. And tomorrow we'll find out exactly what Mugglewump had planned all those days ago. Okay, see you soon. Bye.